Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and everything that I'm using today you can uh, get from Stampin' Up! through me at the address at the top of the screen, katherinetiemann.stampinup.net And today I have this treat box that I made with using uh, the 6x6 craft paper. Now the craft paper is not, it's not the same. When I first ordered it, I figured it's gonna be like crumb cake. It's not like the cardstock. It it's, feels um, a little bit rough um, and, and thick. So um, I, I really do like it. And this is carrying over, so it's not gonna be retired from uh, the mini catalog when the mini catalog is over. Um, so before we get to that, I want to go over the seasonal sale started yesterday and it goes till tomorrow. So it's the 16th to the 18th and we have 10% off on cardstock, 15% off on ink pads and 20% off on dies. Alrighty. So I just wanted to let you guys know. And of course you can use the, um, to become a new demonstrator, you can use the $75 for $125 worth of products. You could get it all together there um, if you wanted to join my team or just be a hobby demonstrator um, or just let the, the deal just go after three months and there's no obligation. Um, also on December 1st, we're going to be getting the last chance uh, category. Some of the things that will be on sale, some of them most of them not, um, but they will be while supplies last. This is staying, but two, a bunch of the things that I use today are not. I use the Time of Giving stamp set for the snowflakes here, and that's retiring. The Sweet Little Stockings, the whole set is retiring. The paper, the dies, and the stamp set, unfortunately. For the sentiment, I used it. I used the... Gingerbread dies to cut this out of the gingerbread paper, gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper. All of that is retiring, so it's it's um, only going to be available for about a month until it runs out. Alrighty, and also I used the penned flowers dies to do the top of my box, which has a I don't know if you can see it has a scallop there. And I use the layering circle dies for the circle. Alrighty. So we also, we don't need much. We need a circle from the layering circle dies. This is a scallop circle that is about one and one eighth. We, I cut using the dies out of the paper. I cut one of the red ones of these snowflakes out of the gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper and we need one of the craft sheets that is six by four and three quarters so you can use this with any six by six paper if you don't want to do the hand embossing on here the snowflake embossing um, this reminds me of um, Snoopy how they always show the, the snowflakes and dots like that <laughs> um, so we really don't need too much stuff um, we need um, Versamark ink and a heat tool and some white embossing powder also. But let's start with this six by four and three quarters piece of craft paper. It's called craft paper pack. All right. And are simply scored. Now you can get one of these out of your six by six or four of these out of a 12 by 12 or two out of if you wanted to do it in card stock. All right. Let me get my tool here. All right, so we're going to start on the six inch side and we're going to score at one half, two and a half, three and a quarter, and five and a quarter. We're going to turn it to the four and three quarter side and we're going to score at three quarter and at three and a half. That's it. All right. Now I want to fold and burnish but I'm not gonna cut it until we cut the scallops on the top. Okay, now what we want is the skinny rectangle on the left and the three quarter inch piece on the bottom. This here is gonna be our top. 
So I'm going to take this die, the scallop die, from... Uh, I haven't used this in a while. Pen Flowers dies. And I'm going to put the scallop up and just run it across the whole top of the box. I'm just going to use some little tack tape. And then I'm just going to run it through my machine. This is less than six inches, so it'll go through nicely. Okay, now I'm just going to gently peel the die off. And then usually one end, it should have been this end, but it's okay. I'm just going to trim off the end of that scab, the end that sticks up. Whatever um, hangs over the sides, you can just clip. All right, now we're going to cut since we have the top done. And this is what we want to do. All right, all we're going to do is get rid of this bottom, take a little piece off the top here, and then cut up our rectangles and our squares. All right, so we're going to start. Now remember, the three-quarter inch strip is at the bottom and the half-inch skinny rectangles on the left. All righty. So we're going to go to the first score line here. And we're going to cut up to the first score line and then just wedge a little bit out above it. Follow it up and wedge a little piece off of the scallops to the first score line there on the side. Okay. All right, we're going to go to the other side of this little rectangle, cut it straight to the first score line, skip the square, and cut the side of this rectangle straight. And then we're just going to wedge a little bit off of each side of the square. Okay. All right, move to the other side of this rectangle, cut it straight, and then wedge both sides of this. Okay, and that's it for cutting. All right, now we need a piece of scrap. I'm going to put our paper on top of it, and we need some Versamark ink and the snow from the Time of Giving stamp set. Okay. And we're going to just do one side at a time. So I'll do this part and then I'll come back and do the other part. So I'm just going to try not to overlap, but I, I don't want to miss any big spots. So I'm just going to go around. You can see it. You probably can't see it up there, but on your screen, but I can see the little marks. And then I'll start the side because I want to finish with the... You don't have to worry about the tabs or the sides that are going to be covered. All right, and now I'm going to get from the, I'm going to get my white embossing powder. And now this comes in a pack of three. It's called the Basics Embossing Powders. And I'm just going to put it down on top. And I'm just going to shake it off onto the scrap. And I usually turn it over and just flick it. Try to get the extra off. Good. And then I can put my powder back in. All right, and you could heat emboss this with a heat tool before you do the other side, but I'm just gonna stamp it so I only have to do it once. Here we go. And I'm just gonna finish up the snowflake stamping. And it's good to go off the paper a little so it doesn't look, it just looks pretty organic, like you didn't try to make it exactly even. All right. And I'm just going to put powder on this side. And shake it off and flick it a couple of times. Okay, and then I'm going to put this to the side while we do our sentiment is embossed all. Now I'm just going to put my powder back in again. All right, and then we need our little, what did I do with it? Here it is. Our um, one and one eighth, about, maybe a little more than one and one eighth scallop circle from the layering circle dies. And this very merry stamp is from Sweet Little Stockings. But you could put whatever sentiment you like that would fit in this. Okay, I have my Versamark and I'm just going to 
put the sentiment right in the middle and then sprinkle it. I'm just going to get some tweezers. Just pick it off, pick it up on an edge and then flick it a little bit. And just kind of get rid of anything that's above it there. It doesn't belong. Okay, and now let me just quickly put this back in. Alright, and now I'm going to get my heat tool and emboss these and I'll be right back. Alright, now the embossing is done. And I'm going to get my tear and tape. And I'm going to put tear and tape on the skinny rectangle close to the score line. Okay, and then what we're going to do is flip it over and put it on the flap that's going to, on the back of the flap close to the edge that's going to be our front flap. So it's the flap that's not next to our skinny rectangle. Okay, but you can put it together and then just uh, put the tape on after. All right, I'm going to get my take your pick tool. I'm going to take this, whoops, take the tape off. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to fold it and fold the other side to meet it. Okay, so now that's going to be our back. I'm going to put, I'm just going to rebend this because after the embossing it got a little bit stiff. Okay, I'm going to put the sides in and the back and now take the tape backing off of our front flap. And then I'm just going to try to make sure this is all nice and square. And, there. and you can put your, take your pick tool inside and press it down to make sure the top flap is nicely, the inside flap is nicely adhered. Alright, now in this one I forgot to tell you, inside here are two Ghirardelli squares. Okay, um, but Tic Tacs will also fit in here. A package of Tic Tacs, oops, excuse me. And I also have these Godiva Masterpieces. My BJ's had these for $7.99 for this pack, so this is what I'm going to be making my Thanksgiving treat things out of. And there's two. I'm not sure if I can fit three in. Let's see. No, two of these will fit in here. All right. And then what we're going to do is make sure where the back is. Okay. We're going to push in the sides and squeeze the rest. And it should. Yeah. This one's having a little trouble. You can help the sides stay up a little bit. This side went fine. And so this score line should keep it from really going down very far. All right. And that's most of the box right there. Okay. Now. Now we need a small hole punch. You could use um, whatever one you have. And I'm going to put a hole probably about a half an inch down and a half an inch in on each side, a quarter of an inch. Okay. And I, I squoze the back and front together so it will go back through both of them at the once. And I have this real red mini ruffled ribbon which is staying, it's not being retired, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna put it through the front to the back and then the back to the front. I probably should put a nice point in this. Oops. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm just gonna tie a bow. Maybe don't need that much. Save my ribbon. I bet you I'll be using this for Valentine's Day since it's not getting retired. Okay, and then I'm just going to snip the edge. Okay, now we're going to get 
our snowflake that we cut out of the gingerbread and peppermint DSP or you can stamp this with the frosted gingerbread photopolymer stamp set too um, but I just wanted to cut it out because I liked all the different colors and I'm going to get some mini dimensionals and some dimensionals and I'm going to put minis on every end of the snowflake okay every piece that sticks out far Okay, and then I'm going to put one regular dimensional in the middle. And then I'm just going to put it right in the middle of my box. Middle of the lower part. And then I'm going to put one dimensional on the back of our sentiment. And put that right in the middle here. There we go. Alrighty. And then for our final touch, I'm going to take some of these wonderful gems, which are retiring also. And I'm sad because they're pretty and they're very, um, they're faceted and they have glitter in them. So they're really pretty. But I'll use them up for before the end of Christmas season. And I'm going to take the smaller ones and I'm going to put one up here. Whoops. One on the sentiment and one down over here. You can't put them on top of the emboss or they won't stick well. And that's it. Thank you so much for coming to watch my video. I appreciate the time you spend here. If you have any questions, my um, blog with all the measurements will be linked below. My Email if you have if you want to email me for anything and the link to join as a demonstrator for the 75 for 125 free shipping deal. Alrighty, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.